Hello everyone, welcome back to Simulated Heaven. It's 2024 and I am in Automobilista. I absolutely love the karting in o Automobilista 1. Bumpy bumpy. And this is my favourite track, it's called something like Buskerud. I can't say it very well, it's in Norway. I absolutely love cruising this circuit. I can literally spend ages, right, if I've had a hard day at work, just spend some time cruising around here. It's still one of my favourite things to do when it comes to karting, sim karting. It's so much fun. The only issue is you have to play it pretty much single player because there's not really anyone out there anymore that's playing this game multiplayer. So I still enjoy it. I still running laps on this particular circuit with this particular car. I think I'm running the GX390 race car and it's not the fastest, whoa, it's not the fastest car. In fact, it's quite slow really, but the whole reason I love this, this combination of this track and cart is because it's almost like a zen experience, right? You're kind of just f uh, finding the good lines and flowing in between the corners. I mean, I am not very good at this game, but it's not about really being fast. It's just about enjoying the kind of zen experience. And I really like the elevation changes on this particular track, the flow of the track. I don't know, man, I just really enjoy it. So any time that I feel that I need to relax, you know, like I said earlier, I've had a hard day at work, or I'm just um, sick of all the hardcore RPGs or whatever else I might be playing at the time, then I fire this up and run some laps. And in no time, I'm feeling way, way better. It's pretty great stuff. And I do also like the karting in R-Factor 2. But with my uh, steering wheel, I have a Moza R16. I find, that I find that this game still feels really good on the R16. Um, so for me, it's, it, it's still a really worthwhile but yeah, like I said earlier, it's it's a shame that there's not anyone online really on this game. So it is. I mean, obviously I can run the uh, the AI races, which is fun as well, and I will do that from time to time. But to be honest, most of the time I'm just cruising around on my own, right? And uh, yeah, what a great combination. Loving it, and I thought I would try a slightly different camera view today. You can see it's like almost like a helmet cam. Oh, overcooked it a bit there, didn't I? Um, but yeah, I mean, if you are into karting, even if you don't own this game, oh no, this game is like super cheap right now because it's fairly old and there's a new version of the game out. So it is pretty cheap. So I would say that if you're in, if you're into the sim karting world, this game is still well worth a look. And then you're also going to get a lot of other content as well. It isn't only a karting game. In fact, the karting is not really a main feature of the game. But I, I've always really, really enjoyed it. Really liked it. Okay, the selection of cards isn't that much, but I just really like how the, the cart feels. Like I said, with my steering wheel, it just seems great. So I thought I would highlight that in 2024, I'm still running laps in this thing and still, still enjoying it immensely. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next one. 